Initially for this project, I was going to do one video that showed turning this large diameter piece of aluminum and finishing with the final part that I was making. Um, it turned out that getting this to be on the lathe was enough of a project in itself that it warranted its own video. Since this is a 7 inch by 14 inch lathe, it would make sense that taking a 5 inch piece of aluminum would just be a matter of changing the jaws on the chuck and tightening it down. But unfortunately that wasn't the case. So I had to go to plan B. With this piece of aluminum weighing in at almost three pounds, it was critical that it had to be centered uh, as any off center in when mounting it would result in pretty aggressive wobble and could potentially be very dangerous. So I modeled up a uh, centering tool to be able to find the uh, exact center of this five inch diameter aluminum with relative ease. I just 3D printed off the center tool and used it to mark the center point. Um, as a side note, if anyone is interested in seeing more 3D printing projects, um, please comment below and I'll try to do more of those as well. The part that I'm making that started this whole project in the first place requires the center of it to be bored out. Uh, my initial plan was to mount it on the lathe and use that to drill the hole and then the boring tool to bore it out. Um, but since I wasn't able to mount it on the lathe, I decided the plan, the best plan B would be use a hole saw and drill out a core out of the middle as a good starting point. Um, the other advantage to that is that I would potentially be able to use the core later on in a future project. So after the hole saw was a failure, I decided to move on to plan C, which ended up being a success. Um, that's what the rest of this video is about, and I hope you enjoy. I realized I never clearly show this, but this larger diameter hole is only a countersink hole and not a through hole.
Since I didn't want to tighten the jaws on the threads directly and risk not being able to get the bolt back out, uh, I went ahead and stacked a bunch of nuts on the bolt to tighten the jaw down onto. Since it could be so dangerous if this is off-center and wobbles around a lot, uh, I wanted to make sure before turning it on that there was only a reasonable amount of um, runout on this part. I just used a simple digital dial indicator and was pleased to find out that there was only about half a millimeter of runout when rotating it by hand. And now for the test. With one problem solved, I realized that the cross slide doesn't back out far enough to hit the edge. So I'll address that later. In order to let the tip of the tool reach the edge of the part to do a proper facing um, cut, I just had to angle the cross slide uh, a little bit just to move the tip of the tool toward the outside of the diameter. At this point I can now properly mount this piece of aluminum in the lathe uh, for more turning operations. Unfortunately I don't think the bolt was entirely perfectly straight which led to a little bit of wobble now. but. It's workable.
The next problem I ran into is that the tool could not move, uh, could not be advanced far enough to be able to reduce the diameter of the entire part. Um, another quick angle adjustment on the cross slide, as well as moving the tool out just a little bit. Um, normally you want the tool as far back in the tool post as possible, but in this case I needed the extra reach. Um, I was able to reduce the diameter successfully. While I do need to be able to create a part of this size for the project that I'm working on, um, this video was mostly an experiment to be able to see if I could do all the um, common operations on a piece of aluminum or any material with a diameter this large on a lathe this small. And while I think this is the maximum dimension in a lot of ways, uh, I was able to successfully do all the different um, types of cutting that I needed to do for my project. And while it's not as nice or easy as a larger lathe, it will definitely um, meet my needs in this case. So at this point, this is the end of the video. And while this me method worked for me, it may not work for everybody, but hopefully it helps somebody. And stay tuned for the video when I actually finish this part. Thanks for watching.